wanted to talk about uh, my carry rig today and uh, show you a few things about using speed loaders with the uh, 638 Smith & Wesson. Um, I've been practicing a lot w with the, a speed load drill that I, I came up with and uh, it kind of consists of uh, having your pistol in your strong hand pocket and your, uh, your speed loader in your other, other pocket. This is the way I carry. And the drill I do, I always check to see if my gun's empty first, empty gun. I always double check that. Gun in pocket. Present the gun. Fire five shots. Empty. Speed loader. Kind of tired right now, so I'm fumbling. And bring the gun back up on target. Uh, I noticed a few things about using speed loaders with this particular gun. The grips that came with it are rubber and uh, they just don't pop in. You have to uh, kind of roll them. I'll load this thing back up right quick and demonstrate it for you. I'll, uh, I'll put it on the helmet cam and give you a better view. Okay, I got my helmet cam on now. Speed loader in the left pocket, pistol in my right pocket. Check to see if the gun's empty. Gun up. Five shots. Speed loader after your, out of your left pocket. Insert with your left hand. Twist the speed loader clockwise. Bring the pistol up on target. That's the way I practice, and uh, I've, I've videoed myself doing this, and uh, from what I found, 10 seconds is a pretty good time to get off five shots, get loaded, and get back up on target doing this. And uh, just practice makes perfect doing this. These grips here don't make for an easy speed load. That's why I have to do the twist thing. Um, I've practiced it a lot, and uh, I recommend anybody that carries uh, speed loaders to, to do a little bit of practicing. It's, uh, it's going to help you. It's, you know... Uh, tremendously at, at being faster you know uh, muscle memory is a big deal when you're in a stressful situation and you can never learn too much so thanks for watching guys